Right, so this is my long-awaited follow-up on uh, Igor, the uh, three-wheeled electric longboard. I've made a second version. I call this one Watson. It's a lot slimmer, as you can tell. There are a lot of physical differences. Namely, the motor is now underneath the board instead of on top of the board. And I'll talk about some of the differences that makes. Another difference, you can see instead of having a wooden frame, it's got a galvanized steel frame. And all of the board components are hidden underneath. They are protected, the batteries are protected by the frame itself, but everything else is protected by that aluminum dust cover there. And just for the fun of it, I also added lights. They look purple on the camera, but they're actually electric blue. Anyway. So there are a lot of similarities between Igor and Watson. They both have a drivetrain that's running at 500 watts. This is a much smaller, uh, smaller brushed DC motor, as you will notice, but it uses rare earth magnets instead of uh, ceramic magnets, meaning that uh, it gets a lot more power for its size. And the result is that I can actually fit it under the board just like that. So one of the other big differences between Watson and Igor is the width of the board. The board at the front is almost as wide as my foot is long, and it's also concave, which means that I'm able to put a lot more uh, leverage into that turn, allowing for a much sharper turn. Um, and that's that's really improved the ride of this. It's much more nimble. I'm willing to I'm willing to ride that on sidewalks. Um, and I estimate the minimum turning radius to be around six and a half feet as a result, maybe seven. But the other advantage of this board is now that I've gotten rid of that um, onboard motor and it's switched it out for the underboard motor, I now have a lot more uh, real estate for my feet. So when I'm accelerating, my feet are farther apart and it's a uh, it's a lot safer a lot more comfortable and that's also helped along by the fact that i've got the kicktail on the front and the back so that helps with both acceleration and deceleration and i've found that it's invaluable for um for navigating really rough terrain like uh, a packed gravel parking lot the new drivetrain on watson is another point of interest while it still has that uh, number 25 sprocket chain i've swapped out the uh the 5 to 1 gear ratio for a 5 to 2 gear ratio. This has made the acceleration a lot more manageable, but it's also increased that top speed. Uh, theoretically, this thing could get up to 24 miles an hour on the straightaway without a load on it. Um, with me riding it, it goes about 21 miles an hour on the straightaway. But also, you'll notice that there's no chain tensioner. This is because with this uh, steel frame, I can adjust how far forward and back the rear wheel sits, and I can actually adjust that chain without the need of uh, a roller chain tensioner. This makes it a lot quieter, uh, and I mean a lot quieter, and that's, that's partially due to the motor itself being a quiet motor, but uh, I'll hopefully be able to get some uh, audio of this thing running like I did with Igor and show you just how quiet this is. I mean, I thought that Igor was quiet um, when I first started around with it, but in comparison, this thing is much, much quieter. All right, let's get this boat on the road. You can see that acceleration is a lot easier.
This isn't supposed to be recording right now. I'm still strapping the camera in. How do I stop it? Man, I see why people use selfie sticks now. <laughs> 